so I woke up super late. Um, I was supposed to wake up at like 3 or 4 and it's like 6. There's just a lot of work to be done. This is a day in my life as an architecture student. Okay. It's a completely 3D printed model. It required a lot of coordination. And in Molten today, we're gonna mill, we're gonna build a site model. I'm sorry, I look like trash. I planned on looking better, but you know, you win some, you lose some. I have mill time at nine. It's six o'clock in the morning right now. So, um, I set up the mill and it's going to be going until three. Um, right now it's one o'clock and it's really gross how long it's gonna take. So now I'm gonna go down and watch my mill file, make sure that it doesn't explode or anything like that. Forgot to get the plexiglass for our site diagram model. Hello, listen, I'm vlogging. <laughs> I'm vlogging the whole printing experience. Why am I in this? <laughs> So I actually realized I never really explained how this model works. How this works is that um, I milled out a base site to insert these 3D printed sections and we are using these fins that I'm 3D printing right now and gluing these sections together to create one cohesive model on the fins today. I think the hardest part about coordinating this whole model together was that there's a lot of trial and error so a lot of the fins didn't uh, match up and align properly so I had to reprint a lot of things. And um, the model is due Wednesday but I'm trying to get it done tonight. Hello freaking out that did not happen. So it's gonna be a lot of time lapses coming at you. I'm on my way home to get another 3D print off the bed. One or two more prints to go, plus our 34th scale um, massing. I think I'm gonna cry a lot today, and it's just been a really like crazy rough week. So here you can see how I actually inserted the fins in between sections. Um, you had to sand down the 3D prints because all of them lift to meet the next section, which is a little bit higher than the one previously before it. And you had to nudge it in between right there. Um, I started using um, crazy glue and stuff like that, but I realized hot glue worked much faster and uh, I still had the same effect. Um, a lot of things finally started lining up. I had to tweak a lot of things, but I really liked the overall effect and our model looks so different compared to all of my classmates. It really set our project apart. Um, and then I started spray painting entourage and placing that and I think that part's really fun. 4.57 in the morning. I have review at 1.30 p.m. tomorrow and I am chilling in bed because I finished. I finished everything and I am exhausted like the typical architecture student. So these were our final boards. Um, my partner David did that final rendering and those plans um, so I have to give credit where it's due and they look absolutely beautiful. Um, and overall review went really well for us. We did not progress to the finalist round, but um, we did end up winning the studio award for it. And now that review is over, it just sits on my desk, so I'm thinking about smashing it into a million little pieces in slow motion, and maybe I'll post that later. Um, yeah. Peace out. Love you guys. Hey.